posted a video where I did a look that I um, titled The Ice Queen. And my best friend Chelsea, who does have her own channel, Mother Gamer, I will link her channel for you down below, so go check it out. She gave me a really interesting idea. She said, you should do... Um, makeup looks inspired by movies and color palettes uh, of different movies. And I was like, that is an amazing idea. She has the crafty brain that I just don't have. And I was like, yes, let's run with it. So if you're at all <laughs> on Disney, let me just fix my little headband here. If you're at all on Disney or on TikTok, you know that right now Encanto has taken over the globe <laughs> by a storm. Um, my little boys and I watch it probably once a day, once a week. Uh, we listen to the soundtrack because Stephen loves to dance to it. He loves to dance to We Don't Talk About Bruno. Um, Louisa, her song, literally sang it for a week and almost drove my husband nuts. So, I was looking on Pinterest and I actually found these two color palettes from the movie. So, if you notice, Peppa's family, they're all in one color and then Julieta, Juliet, I don't know how to say it right. Her whole family is in like another color palette. And then Bruno in the middle is in his green. But I found this one and this is for Peppa's family. And I really gravitated toward it because Dolores is one of my favorite characters. I think she is hilarious. I would love to see her and just that whole side of the family like have more screen time next time. I think Felix is like a really cool representation of a dad. Um, just how he treats Peppa, how he um, teaches Antonio. Like when Antonio has the little animals getting Abuela's seat warm and then Felix gives them a thumbs up. Like they take care of their people around them. And I just thought that was cute. But anyway, I love Dolores. I think she's funny. Also her vocals were slapping on we don't talk about bruno and so i decided to go with their color palette and of course like i said i had to wear i wear these all the time but this is like this actually makes sense for me to wear it so i look so washed out and pale because i did already go ahead and apply my base um i am just testing out the milani conceal and perfect foundation stick had it for a long time just haven't used it in a while so i thought let's give it a try um i tried it on two different primers and I didn't like how it mm, yeah I don't think I like it I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it um I don't wear it very often and I thought well this would be a good time to kind of give it another go and it is very much settling into the lines on my forehead even though I've already powdered and even though I've already powdered this side still feels a bit slick so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this I went ahead and powdered my face with some of my L'Oreal Infallible. Does, does, let me move this. I feel like, there we go. There was like an odd shadow coming at the bottom. Let me move this one too. See if I can move this light up. There. That looks a lot better. Okay. Back to what I was saying. I powdered with some of my L'Oreal Infallible uh, foundation in a powder. If you're interested. Okay. I, I now have this one, which is a foundation and a powder. I have the NYX. I have the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat uh, powder foundation and then I just ordered the new elf powder foundation the CC cream one so we can test the elf separately or we can do like a comparison of powder foundations whatever whatever you think whatever you're interested in let me know down below but anyways so and I've also done my brows I know I'm everywhere and I just put a little bit of the covergirl easy breezy brow whatever this is. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this too. Not because it's bad, but I think it's like drying up and clumping because whenever I put it in my brow, it was very dry and clumpy. So I'm going to go ahead and put these to the side and put them in an empties bin video for later. So, all right, now what we're here for. Pulled up this picture and it has five colors that they have incorporated into the uh, Peppa's family uh, color scheme color palette, if you will. So the five colors we're looking at are Pineapple Cream, Bosque Pear, Henna Shade, Cyan, Cheyenne, Cyan, and Habanero Chili. So I went through my makeup collection and I'm not doing like a character inspired look. I'm just doing a look uh, based off the color palette of the family. Like all the colors are going to be um, something that I've incorporated from the swatch. So as you can see on my hand here, I really went through uh, all of my eyeshadow palettes and tried to find things that I thought would fit well with 
the color palette for this family. So let's start with eyes. Um, I was looking through and I honestly feel like I found one eyeshadow palette that gives me the cyan or Cheyenne, I'm not sure, the habanero chili and the pineapple cream color to work with as eyeshadows. And that is my Bad Bay palette from Catrice. So as you open it up, we have this color here, which is a tinge wider than pineapple cream. But I think if you mix it with just a little bit of Savage, I think you can get that kind of a yellowy based white. Um, and then for Cyan, you can kind of bop between these three shades here. So we have RBF, Yes, and L-I-T-A-F. So you've got kind of these reds. So I really thought this one kind of went with the habanero chili. And then this color went more with the cyan shade. And then this color is kind of in the middle of those two. So you can work with all three of those to create an eye look. Then just for, you know, some sparkle, I thought that this shade IDGAF, IDGAF kind of has that reddish bit of sparkle to it. So if you want a little bit of something to pop and obviously you know you don't want to just use the mattes you can definitely use that or you can also use get at me which is a very red in that cyan habanero chili vibe of a sparkle with a little bit of kind of a brown which also pulls back into the bosque pear because the bosque pear is kind of like a brownie yellow shade so I feel like this palette you really can get a nice look from this color story I mean obviously they're not the exact shades but I think it's close enough that you really could make a very nice look which huh, is what we're gonna do now <laughs> sorry if that first clip was a little blurry I, I couldn't figure out if it was the camera or if it's where I had accidentally stabbed my eye with powder but I just wiped it off and it looks a lot better so Let's go ahead and make an eyeshadow look. Let me do one eye. You know how I work here. Let me do one eye. I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done. So you're probably wondering, hold up. There was no yellow in that <laughs> uh, swatches. True. But if you look at the family, there's obviously lots of yellow in Peppa's dress. There's the yellow umbrella. I mean, there's yellow throughout their different um outfits so i definitely think when they did this swatch if they wanted to include more colors they could have very easily put a yellow in between pineapple cream and bosque pear so here's what i did i went oh my liner just smeared my eyes are watering from doing the liner and because of that it's smeared but i decided to go in with yellow kind of like a sunrise because Peppa in the weather. And so then I did a little bit more of an orangey red and then more of the habanero chili red. And then I put just a touch of the yellow on the outside, purely just because I liked it. So I've gone ahead and pulled you in. I'm gonna do this eye and speed it up. But just like I explained, I'm gonna do kind of a yellow, oh, that makes me mad. A yellow sunrise, a little bit of an orangey red, more of the habanero chili red, and then a little yellow on the outer corner. So here we have our kind of sunrise eyeshadow look with a wing and they do not match. It's okay. We're just going to move on. So I'm going to pop on some mascara, some of my volume stylist, uh, 18 hour lash extension. If it wasn't nine o'clock at night, I'd put some eyeliner or <laughs> some eyelashes on, but since it's so late, we're just going to make the mascara have to be enough. It would definitely help if my eyeliners were remotely the same oh also i wanted to mention the yellow that i used is the oh behave shade from the uh-huh honey palette from ColourPop. 
Okay, so moving into the rest of the collars, I was looking at the Bosque Pear color, and I honestly did not know how I was going to use that color in this look. So I actually pulled up some swatches from Sherman Williams, and I'll pop it here for you. And as I'm looking at that, I'm seeing that it's much more yellowy brown. So for me, as far as makeup's concerned, I thought of bronzer. However, I am very pale, and so I tend to lean more with cool tone bronzers. But thankfully in my collection, I do have this palette, the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. And it has four different shades here. And this top shade, when swatched, has a very yellow undertone to it. Um, the next one is more kind of a neutrally one. So I thought for me, Let's go in with this shade for bronzer, and that's going to be our Inspo from the Bosque Pear color. Okay, we'll just pop that on. Now, I do have other, another warm bronzer, which is the matte bronzer from NYX. However, I feel that it has more of like a rosy undertone. So, this is probably one of the few bronzers in my collection that I have that has that kind of a yellowy undertone to it. It's not orange, thankfully. Um, I've had some orange bronzers that I've... <laughs> booted them out of my collection because nobody wants to look orange um but this yellowy tone is nice i don't use this palette a lot because as we're discussing the lightest shade does have kind of that yellowy undertone but i've kept it and i'm going to put it in my makeup kit after i sanitize it because i think that this would work extremely well on people with just a little bit of a deeper skin tone than myself but for today to go with this like I said, this color palette from Peppa's family and Dolores' family, I think that this works great as inspiration for the Bosque Pear color. Just a little bit of that yellowy brown color. Wonderful. All right, so I'm very glad <laughs> that I kept this around. And again, this is the one, um, this is 10 Better Than Vacation Tan. Because I believe there are two of these palettes, and the other one's a little bit deeper. Okay. So now, let's look at this color in the middle, this henna shade. For me, as soon as I seen this shade, this palette that I have from BH Cosmetics came to mind. This is the Vanilla Cream Truffle Palette. And as I'm looking at this henna shade here on the computer, now on screen, it is coming up a little bit more pinky, but in real life, it's much more muted, um, less of that harsh pink color. Um, even this top one almost could be a variation of that henna shade color from the color palette. So I'm going to be using this color down here. Like I said, it is coming off much more pink than in real life, but I think it's going to give us the right shade and undertone because it's looking like that henna shade is cool undertone, kind of a bluey, a bluey undertone. So let's go ahead. And pop some of this on and these don't have names so if you get it it's just the bottom one in the right hand corner and again this is our inspiration for the henna shade color from the color palette oh I think I had blush on here from the last time whoops because that came off way more pink blend that. there we go much better and then just to blend that out knead it down just a tint I'm gonna go over it with my sponge and there you have it. There's our inspiration for the henna shade. And also the pineapple cream. I don't know if I mentioned it. I did use it to blend out the top. Like I said, I went in with a little bit of a concoction of these two. And I also brought it down into my inner corner to kind of brighten that area up. Okay, and for my lips. This one is inspired by the Cheyenne, Cyan. I don't know. I hope I'm saying it right. The four shade that you're seeing there. So this is what we're going to be using for lips. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lip in 135 Glow Trotter. Glow Trotter? Globe Trotter. <laughs> this is very much that burnt orange color that you're seeing displayed here. So let's go ahead. It, it works really well, too, with the eyeshadow look. All right, I do want to add a little bit of highlighter. And I think for that, I'm going to go in with something that is golden toned. Again, gold is not generally the highlighter tone that I go for, but I think that's going to work best with this look. We don't want to go in with anything pink or icy for this color palette. 
So for highlighter, I am going to use my Revlon Skin Light uh, Prismatic Highlighter. This is in Daybreak Gleamer. Let's oh, go ahead. The reason this is one of the few gold highlighters that I've kept is because for my skin tone, it works great. It's not too golden, but it definitely is on that warmer side of the spectrum versus the typical cool tone highlights that I go for. I think it gives it just a nice little something. Let's pop some in the inner corner. I'm even going to take a little bit and pop it over the yellow on the eyelid. There we go. And just put a little bit in the inner corner. Beautiful. Now let's finish up the lower lash line really quick. I think I'm going to do a gradient. I, I like doing it on the lower lash line. <laughs> so we are going to take, if I can find it, there it is. All right. So let's do a little bit of the darkest red shade on the outer corner coming from the wing. And next to that, I'm actually going to pop up into some of the shade Rebel, which is kind of on the orangier tone of things, but I think it's going to work. And then for the inner corner, we're going to take the shade O oh Behave from the Aha uh -huh Honey ColourPop palette and bring that right to the inner corner and over. Okay, and there we have it. Let's do a little spritz, if I can find it. So here is my Encanto inspired makeup look using the color palette based off of Peppa and Dolores and their family. Um, let me know what you think. Would you like to see me do the other color palette from Mirabelle's family? Totally would be willing to do that if you're interested in it. That is a shame about my eyeliner, but if you ignore that, I really like the eyeshadow sunrise thing that kind of like Peppa inspired and then of course you know I couldn't do it without my little headband for Dolores um Antonio isn't he the, I just love this movie it's like the Croods the Croods oh the Croods is another one that I just love to death even the Aristocats that would be a good one too so anyway, let me know down below, what do you think of this concept? Would you like to see me create a look from the color palette from Mirabelle's family? So thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like and subscribe. I'm going to wash this face off and cuddle with this cute puppy. So uh, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.